The future of policing is transforming faster than anyone expected. Around the world, police departments are turning to AI-powered robots to face rising threats and major staff shortages. It's no longer science fiction, it's happening right now, and it's moving fast. Experts project that the global security robots market will explode to $44 billion by 2030, growing at a rate of 15% every year. Robots aren't just an upgrade, they're becoming an essential force, unlocking new powers of prediction, precision, and control. But along with the new powers, they're pushing the limits of privacy and personal freedoms. In Thailand, the shift to AI policing became especially clear during one of the country's biggest events, the Songkran Festival. Known for its massive water fights and wild street celebrations, the festival draws millions. But it also raises serious public safety issues every year, petty theft, violent clashes, and dangerous overcrowding. In response, Bangkok authorities made a major move in 2024. They installed hundreds of closed-circuit cameras across the city to spot pickpockets, track unwanted criminals, and monitor crowd density like never before. It wasn't just about watching. It was about creating a new system of control. But the cameras were only part of the story. During the New Year celebrations in Nakhon Pathom province, just west of Bangkok, Thailand introduced its first AI-powered police robot, AI Police Cyborg 1.0. Stationed along the busy Tuns Road during the April celebrations, this robot wasn't just standing guard. It was actively watching, analyzing, and responding in real time. The robot, built on wheels for quick maneuvering, features three 360-degree surveillance cameras fitted within its head and torso, giving it full panoramic vision of its surroundings. Its AI brain processes live video instantly, but AI Police Cyborg 1.0 is more than just a set of cameras on wheels. It's part of a much bigger, highly connected surveillance network. Linked directly to the city's closed-circuit television system and aerial drones, it communicates continuously with a provincial command and control center through a wireless network. Every piece of data is analyzed and streamed live to human officers. The robot's functions go even deeper. It scans faces and crowds, comparing them against blacklists of suspects, known criminals, and flagged individuals. If it finds a match, it sends an alert to nearby officers. If a suspect tries to run, the robot can track their movements through the crowd. It's even trained to recognize weapons and dangerous objects. Its video analytics can spot signs of aggression or physical fights before they explode into violence. The goal is to prevent crimes before they happen, and it's already redefining what policing means in public spaces. Meanwhile, in China, robotic policing has been moving ahead just as aggressively. Several high-tech robots are fighting to become the country's leading law enforcement machines. One of the standout designs is the G1 humanoid robot made by Unitree Robotics. Standing about 133 centimeters tall, roughly four and three, the G1 has been deployed alongside police in cities like Shanghai, Luoyang, Guangxi, and even Unitree's hometown of Hangzhou. The G1 isn't just for show. In Shanghai, it monitors perimeters in high-end residential areas using advanced AI vision systems. In Guangxi, robots march in formation with human officers during large public events. Some of the robots are even equipped to detect hazardous gases during their patrols. Beyond crime prevention, they act as community liaisons, providing a visible, reassuring presence and a warning to anyone thinking about causing trouble. Shenzhen is taking robotics even further. There, police are collaborating with the fast-growing startup Engine AI. Their new humanoid PM01 robots are now actively being used for grid-based community work and law enforcement in the Nanshan and Fushan districts. First introduced in December 2024, the PM01 is a lightweight, customizable robot designed to be accessible, starting at less than $14,000. It stands 138 centimeters tall, slightly larger than the G1, and it's built for research, development, and rapid field deployment. Clips circulating on social media show these robots regularly training, patrolling streets, and interacting with the public. Shenzhen's police force is clearly committed to the robotic future, and it's not their first time experimenting. The city has been working with robotic public safety solutions for over a decade. As far back as 2014, Shenzhen introduced surveillance robots to public spaces. In 2016, the Anbot, or Shenzhen Xi'an, 
started patrolling the Shenzhen Bao'an International Airport. Developed by the Shenzhen Public Security Bureau and the National University of Defense Technology, Anbot could patrol autonomously for up to eight hours, recharge itself, and was equipped with four cameras for comprehensive surveillance. The Anbot was a major step toward today's robotic law enforcement systems, but Shenzhen didn't stop there. Another innovation was the amphibious RTG Sphere robot, produced by Logon Technology. Weighing about 125 kilograms, or 276 pounds, the RTG Sphere can reach speeds up to 35 kilometers per hour, around 22 miles per hour. Its amphibious design allows it to operate both on land and water, making it highly versatile. Packed with facial recognition technology, multiple cameras, ultrasonic sensors, GPS navigation, and non-lethal defense tools like tear gas dispensers and net shooters, these Sphere robots patrol some of China's busiest commercial areas, assisting officers in controlling crowds and securing perimeters. While Asia leads in humanoid robotics for policing, the United States isn't far behind, but its approach looks a little different. In America, the rise of security robots has been led by a startup called Nightscope. Founded in 2013, Nightscope has rapidly scaled up its operations. Recently, the company announced a move into a new 33,000-square-foot headquarters right in the heart of Silicon Valley. Production is ramping up, with a second work shift added to meet growing demand. Nightscope's signature robot is the K5 Autonomous Security Unit. Standing over 1.5 meters tall, the K5 is built for outdoor patrols. It's loaded with three 360-degree cameras, thermal imaging, license plate recognition systems, and real-time data transmission technology. It navigates fully autonomously using sensors and AI. It patrols parks, parking lots, transit stations, and university campuses without any human intervention. It even features a built-in emergency call button and a two-way communication system, letting people talk to security personnel immediately if needed. The K5 hasn't just been visible, it's been effective. In Huntington Park, California, officials reported a 46% reduction in crime reports and a 10% decrease in emergency calls after the K5 started patrolling a public park. The success was so notable that the city renewed its contract with Nightscope for the sixth consecutive year in 2024. But the K5 hasn't been perfect everywhere. A pilot program in New York City's Times Square subway station faced challenges. The K5 struggled with mobility on stairs and crowded platforms, and high operating costs, combined with public criticism, led to the program's cancellation after only a few months. Despite that setback, Nightscope's robots are gaining traction across sectors, including higher education, transportation, and public services. Instead of selling the robots outright, Nightscope offers them as a subscription service, typically costing $5,000 to $6,000 per month per unit. The package includes remote monitoring from Nightscope's own security operations center. The future doesn't stop at domestic policing. Robots are poised to take a much larger role in warfare and national defense. In the United States, a company called Anduril Industries is building the largest new weapons manufacturing facility in decades, with plans to produce tens of thousands of autonomous drones for military use. These projects signal that autonomous machines will be central not just to public safety, but also to the future of combat itself. The rapid rise of AI-powered robots in policing is changing everything, but they also raise serious ethical questions about surveillance, accountability, and the growing role of machines in decisions that impact human lives. As more countries deploy these systems, the debate is only just beginning. Will robots make our communities safer, or will we trade away our privacy and freedom in the process? The answer may come sooner than anyone expects. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the fascinating future of policing and AI technology, make sure to hit the subscribe button and join us for more deep dives into the world that's coming faster than we think.